You've been giving your ex a lot of gifts lately. The gift of your time, the gift of your energy, and the gift of your attention, and it's not working to get them back. You need to give your ex the best gift of all. You need to give them the gift that's gonna spike their attraction and spark their emotions, and that's the gift of your silence. So by the time you finish this video, you'll understand why silence is powerful and how it works to reattract your ex to the point of obsession. So the first thing you should do to give your ex the gift of silence is listen, you guys, go no contact and stay no contact. If you guys don't know what no contact is, that's when you completely let go of your ex. You respect what they tell you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk to you anymore. We're done, it's over. You go ahead and back up. Don't call them. It's like they're dead to you. They don't exist anymore, okay? You put in all that time in the relationship. You tried to make it work. Now they're done with you. They told you they don't wanna talk to you anymore. You guys, for one, you don't wanna come off as creepy and crazy and start blowing their phone up and doing these drive-bys and all that random crazy stuff, all right? You need to respect what they tell you to do. Cause that drive-by stuff, I don't, I don't think in the history of mankind has a woman got turned on by a man creeping by their house and running up to the windows, peeking inside the bedroom, seeing if they're at home or if they're with another guy, blah, blah, blah. You guys, that stuff is crazy, don't do that. What you need to do is just completely back up, give them that space. Attraction grows in space, and we say this in so, we said this in so many videos. Attraction is built in space, you guys. Give them that room. Listen to what they say. Hey, I need space. Leave me alone. Don't call me. Don't do it, guys. So what you should be doing during that time is just improving yourself. Because when that breakup occurred, there was something that you did to turn them off. You guys need to focus on that, whatever it is. If you feel like if you feel like you need to improve on that or something that, that you're not doing right, you guys figure out what it is, fix it. Improve yourself. If you feel like you just you just were too weak, you weren't motivated enough, you weren't outgoing, you weren't charming enough, you weren't funny enough, you weren't cool enough, you guys go out and do something to actually change that, make yourself a better, funner, cooler, more exciting person to be around. And most importantly, learn to love yourself more, you guys. I know a lot of you are codependent out there, you guys need to learn to love yourself and understand that you don't need somebody else to love you to be important. And another way to give your ex the gift of silence is understanding that indifference increases sexual tension. When you show your ex, or even when you believe in all your heart that you're no longer interested in staying somewhere that you're not wanted, and they can take it or leave it, and then you'll give them what they want, that's incredibly attractive, even outside of the, the dynamic of a relationship, because it's showing to your ex that you're confident in yourself you love yourself, you respect yourself, and you don't care that your ex doesn't want to be with you anymore. Now, we know you do care, but when you do the work after the breakup and you're in no contact, as he just said, and you're focusing on self-improvement and self-care, you will get to the point where you value yourself so much that you're willing to say bye-bye to your ex because you know that you can live a fulfilling life without them. You're no longer you, you can break that attachment, you can break that codependency on your ex and you have not, you ha now have time to let those emotions dissolve. So now you can think and behave with a lot of clarity. And now that indifference that your ex sees from you because you're no longer contacting them, you're no longer looking at their Instagram or their social media, you're no longer emailing them. They see that from you. They see the fact that you've drawn a line in the sand and are able to move on without them. Without them. And because of that, because of that silence that's created, scarcity drives the value up. Anything that's in scarcity in the marketplace, anything that is, is, is exclusive, there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on it. There's going to be a lot of desire towards that. So when you are indifferent about the fact that they don't want to be with you anymore, that's going to raise your value because that makes your attention exclusive. That makes your, your energy exclusive. That makes your, your, your time exclusive. So you have to be indifferent towards your ex. You have to pull the, the curtain back and see your ex for who they are. But you can only do that by creating that silence and that's done by going no contact. So another reason why you need to give your ex the gift of silence is so you can actually take control back of the relationship. Because right now, they have control. They're the one that broke up with you. They made the executive decision, you know, I don't want to talk to Murphy anymore. Murphy, we're done. Don't call me anymore. Don't talk to me. And in their mind, they feel as if they can get you back whenever they want to. More times than not, after the breakup, the dumpy is doing everything they can to get them back. So now they both know, I can get them back whenever I want to. And that doesn't build attraction, you guys. There's nothing that's gonna turn anyone on by knowing I can get them back whenever I want to, or yeah, they can have me back whenever they want to, all right? You need to back up all the way. You need to completely flip the script from them believing they can get you back to having that doubt, to not being for sure, kind of questioning. From them thinking, yeah, I can get them back whenever I want to, 
And then surprise, surprise, wow, there was somebody better. Give them that anxiety, give them that doubt, take back the control of the relationship. And another reason why you need to give your ex the gift of silence is now you need to focus on you. You need to focus on clarity because many times during the breakup, we have a one track mind and that's just to get our ex back and to fix whatever that needs to be fixed in the relationship and to do whatever it takes to get them back into our life. So you're focused solely on your ex and you're not even aware of the things that you're doing because you're acting out of desperation. There are a lot of scientific studies that have been done that show that same receptors in the brain activate when someone is in a drug addiction are the same receptors that activate when someone is going through heartache. So you're in essence, you're acting like a drug addict or a gambling addict who's going through withdrawal symptoms. They need to get that fixed and you need to get that fixed. Your ex is that fix. You need to, you're trying to repair and mend that broken heart and they're the source of it. So they can fix you and you're acting in a lot of ways that may be out of character for you and a lot of surprising things that we all have done that we felt like, wow, I can't believe I did that. So now is the time for you to pull back in that silence that's created as a result while you walking away. You get a chance to look at yourself, to look at your flaws, to see what may have contributed to the breakup and look at the things that led to you acting in the way that you did after the breakup. And these are a lot of uncomfortable truths. These are a lot of things that a lot of people shy away from because it holds a mirror up to us and we see a lot of ugly things about ourselves, but that should be exciting to you because now you get a chance to work on that because you couldn't work on that when you're trying to get your ex back. So now it's a time to get back to you, to realize your power and your greatness that you got away from, you got sidetracked for whatever reason. Maybe you're putting too much time into work, maybe you're putting too much time into the gym or business that you started, or maybe you were going through a depression in your relationship. You got sidetracked and to push your ex away unfortunately, but now is the time for you to shore up these flaws and to get back to your greatness. It's time to put that crown back on your head, dust that crown off and put it back on your head. You can't do that when you're in the throes of an addiction of your ex. But now that that silence is created and it's just you and your intimate moments by yourself, you can look at things with a lot of clarity, but you can't do that with noise. And the noise is, I gotta get my ex back. I gotta text my ex. I'm looking at their social media. I'm talking to their mother. I'm talking to their grandmother. I'm stalking them outside the job. There's, that's noise. You're not in a healthy space. You're not in a healthy mental space to do that. And that's why we promote going no contact because yes, it does give you the ability to give you the best chance to get your ex back and allows you to get back to the person who matters the most, which is you. So another way to give your ex the precious gift of silence is by hurting your ex. And what do we mean by hurting your ex? Go ahead and tap that link to the left to find out what exactly we mean by hurting your ex. That's a must watch video. So go ahead and tap that link and we'll see you on the flip side. Peace.